Hey there, dorks, Sparrows here, and tonight I wanted to take some time out to do the Wants the Battle tag. If you don't know, Birdkeeper Toby put this tag together to uh, strengthen the Pokemon community and make sure that little channels like our own start to shine. And for that, I'm really appreciative, and I guess it's time for us to shine a little bit. Shine bright like a diamond! As a side note, Birdkeeper Toby, if you were watching this, when I was doing the research for my channel art, I looked at a lot of channel art, and but yours in particular is by far my favorite of any channel, uh, not just Pokemon, uh, just any channel. I really enjoyed the artwork that you have done, and uh, you need to give your artist a high five, give him like 12 high fives. It's so good, and congratulations for having great taste. Okay, enough blabbering, let's get into this tag. Number one, what was my favorite part of Pokemon's 20th anniversary? Getting to use this as a dating profile picture as a joke, and it kind of working because of Pokemon Go? <laughs> Number two, what is my favorite Pokemon in Pokemon Sun and Moon? You know, to be honest, nothing really stood out to me. I think all the designs are kind of lackluster and I definitely wasn't drawn to anything, especially ghost types. The ghost types this generation just blow. And yeah, you'd think they'd give us like 12 ghosts that one of them would be good, but you know, they're all bad. And I definitely wouldn't buy a plush of any of them. <laughs> Number three, which video am I most proud of making this year? So this is the question that uh, made me really want to do this tag because it gives us a chance to sort of look over what we've done throughout the year. And we've done a lot of great things. For starters, we had the uh, Trump Plays Pokemon, which is our highest creative reviewed video on the channel. Uh, even though I'm not like a 100% behind it, I think there's a lot of things that I learned in doing it. And then we were the coach of the New England Evolutions, a mono ghost team in the YouTubers Monotype Tournament. I have not said that in a very long time. <laughs> What else did we do? I made an Alolan Muck music video. I started our Mega Mania series. I did a cool little theory about how Beware created Alolan Marowak, and that was kind of cool. But I think if I had to narrow down all of my projects, just one, that's two. If I had to narrow down my projects to just one, I think the one that I'm most proud of is David Bowie Plays Pokemon. And I really want to use this tag video to sort of draw attention to David Bowie Plays Pokemon, because I truly think it's the unsung gem of our channel. Growing up, I never really was uh, hugely influenced by David Bowie. I knew some of his songs, you, like, you know his songs, like everyone knows Under Pressure and Changes, and you, you get a good idea of the rest of his musical catalog, just like through the radio or when you're at the mall. I say that because I just went to the ball and uh, David Bowie was playing. <laughs> but like, I never truly grasped his like sort of cultural significance. That is until I decided to do David Bowie Plays Pokemon. It was always supposed to be a tribute. I didn't want it to sort of be capitalizing off his death. I just felt like I was doing the series and he was such an important part of our culture and I felt like he deserved a tribute and the best way that I could give him a tribute was by making a silly Pokemon video, which, hey, you do what you know best, right? But once I like, started actually doing the research for this video, I was researching his life, I was listening to his music 24-7, and I started to realize why people worshipped him so much. And then I spent so much time working on that video and it wasn't going anywhere. Then I got a production job and I had to put it on the back burner. And then it sort of became this weight on my channel where I couldn't do anything until I finished that video and that video wasn't going anywhere anytime soon. But what I'm proud of is I didn't stop. I got back to it and I finished it and for that I'm really proud of myself. Anyways, I'm rambling about David Bowie, but the point is that video was one eye-opening to me. Uh, it helped me understand the world better, people better, and particularly my, my dad better. And two, it was a great example of me coming back to something that I didn't think I was going to finish and I finished it and I'm actually proud of it and I think it's the best that it could be for what it is. So yeah, you guys check that out if you haven't checked it out yet. Number four, what is the coolest Pokemon merch I got this year? You guys already saw this, this is my Mimikyu. My friend Aaron got it for me. I didn't actually buy it myself, even though I suggested that I did earlier. Uh, this thing is awesome. The only problem is its tail isn't wooden. It's just more black felt, but that's okay. 
It's still adorable, and I was cuddling this thing while I was catching my actual Mimikyu in game. Number five, what has been the best Pokemon video I have seen this year? So the video that comes to mind is the first video I saw by the uh, YouTuber Kangas Cloud, and it was his Pokemon team tag with the Aura Guardian. Now this video didn't like reinvent the wheel or anything like that, but I chose it because it's just so entertaining, and when I think of the Pokemon videos that I want to make, it is definitely the prototype for that. The cuts are sharp, the VO is tight, and it really makes me jealous, but like, you know, in a good way as a content creator. And uh, for that reason, I think you guys should all check him out. He is super talented and he needs love. And that video is a prime example of how great he can uh, be at creating stuff. Number six, what should my viewers expect in 2017? All right, all right, I've said enough good things about other people, now it's time to talk about myself some more. So I have more ideas than I do have time to execute them, but these are the ideas that I want to uh, bring to our channel next year, even if I can't get to all of them. The first thing on my docket is more Mega Mania. I really want Mega Mania to sort of be our premiere series on this channel. I want it to be our bread and butter and the centerpiece of what the Sparrows brand is. I have to figure out sort of logistics and stuff, but ideally I want it to be once a month ramping up to twice a month. As, I, sort of, as the channel grows and we're able to support uh, me getting the artwork done for more of these Mega Manias. I also kind of want to do collabs with them, but that's another logistic thing that I sort of have to look into that I can't uh, comment on yet. Next on the docket would be battle videos. Uh, for the time being, battle videos aren't going anywhere. We're going to be using some Doom Wi-Fi. Really want to get into a league and bring the New England Evolutions out of retirement. Uh, but that is something that I have to sort of stumble into and probably won't happen until Bank comes out. Let's Plays are not on the agenda. Uh, personally, I don't think I'm very good at them, as uh, you can sort of see in the Warlock Let's Play. That said though, I do have another uh, Nuzlocke variant that I really want to share with people. And if I'm going to do that, I might as well do a Nuzlocke. So I can't comment when I'm going to do that. If I do do it, it's going to be uh, probably in the summer or in the middle. Also, where is it? Did I put it somewhere? Okay, so at the end of January, this is coming out? Or I guess it's not this, but it's another, it's the next one of this. So I want to do some Digimon Let's Plays for the channel. I bought this last year to do a Let's Play for it. I just never had time to do it. And uh, at the end of January, a new Digimon game is coming out. So I might do some Digimon stuff. Uh, hopefully you guys don't mine too much. I personally am a huge fan of Digimon and you can love both. Number seven, name a channel with less subs your viewers should subscribe to. So uh, we just hit 100. Uh, I don't really know any channels that are have less subs than me, but I do want to shoot you guys over to the Omega Records. This guy was a, or is a big part of my community and he said he's going to be bringing some Let's Plays in, so show him some love. I. The New England Evolution wouldn't exist without him, and I really appreciate all the support, and you guys should go support him too. And now, time for the nominations! So, I would like to, uh, speaking of the Omega Records, I would like to nominate the Omega Records to do this tag, as well as Zen Jesker. Zen is another uh, big member of our community. I really appreciate uh, all his insights and stuff, and his what he adds to this channel and he's a great battler he doesn't do youtube but i'm giving him a door to enter so yeah zen uh no pressure but if you want to start youtubing here's there's the window jump through it you're supposed to tag three people i don't know another uh pokemon channel right off the top of my head but i would love it if you guys i'm gonna nominate you guys and uh if you see this video and you want to do this tag and pimp out your own video and your own channel in the description, or not the description, the comments here. Feel free to, let's start building a little bit of a community. And uh, yeah. So I think that's everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you feel so inclined, hit the subscribe and like button. I really would appreciate it. And yeah, take care.